Hello, welcome to Apocalypse Otaku. I am your host, Char, and I am here to give you your anime voice actor birthdays, your adult swim schedule, and I have some Avengers news. And it is nothing to sneeze at, unlike what my dog just did. <laughs> And today is the 8th, and it's <laughs> Phil Parsons and Rachel Messer's birthdays. So, I hope you are having a happy birthday, or have had a happy birthday. And now, we go on to the Avengers News. This is found on comic book slash Marvel. And the name of the article is Avengers Endgame Directors, the Russo Brothers, Tease Marvel Studios Return. Mm. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Joe and Anthony Russo are Marvel Studios' most successful directors, and someday the stars might align just right and allow for their return to the House of Ideas. The brothers have directed four of the outfit's most popular and commercially successful feature films, and a recent book giving fans a behind-the-scenes look at all things Marvel Studios suggests the duo will return to the Burbank lot before too long. Oh, uh, let's see. Erg. In the new book, The Story of Marvel Studios, The Making of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's noted the Russos softly retired from the MCU after Endgame largely uh largely to make, you know, films under their own banner. A-G-B-O. They said the book adds that there's an expectation that someday they'll work with Marvel Studios again. But why is that exactly? Joe Russo says that Kevin Feige led outfit is made up of the best collaborators they've had in Hollywood. We laugh a lot and that's really important, Joe says in the book. We have a very similar sense of humor and we spend a lot of time making jokes with each other and enjoying each other's company during very long difficult hours whether in the story story room or on set or in the edit room everyone's very supportive and encouraging of one another you can't undertake something as significant as the two most expensive stories ever made back to back without that kind of environment. You just wouldn't survive. There's no other way through it than with warmth and laughter. Anthony adds another reason the brothers love the studio is because of his com commitment to the comic book source material. 
it starts with their, well, starting the quote, it starts with their very specific passion for the material, for the material, he says. That's a big part of it because the connectivity they have between what they do, what they say, what they think, and the actual work, it's all in synchronicity. It's all connected. For as hard as these movies were to make, the process with them could not have been easier. End quote. All four of the Russo brothers' movies, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Captain America, Civil War, Avengers, Affinity War, and Avengers Endgame are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if that was so much as a tease as, you know, just putting themselves out there saying, hey, we can do other things besides Marvel right now. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think that's a tease at all. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter at Ap Apocalypse Otak One. And now we're going to go and dive into the Adult Swim for Monday, November the 8th. Starting at 9 o'clock with Bob's Burgers. At 10 o'clock, we have American Dad. At 11.30, Rick and Morty. At midnight, Squid Billies. At 12.30, we have Aqua Teen Hunger Force. 1 a.m. is the Venture Brothers. 1.30, Rick and Morty. At 2.30 is going to be the Squid Billies. 3 a.m., Aqua Teen Hunger Force. 3.30, the Venture Brothers. 4 a.m., Off the Air. That, that's not really what it means. It's a show. Uh, 4.30 is home movies. And round out your night, if you're still awake at 5 a.m., it's going to be Bob's Burgers. So if you guys aren't subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. Hit that subscription button. Ring that bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're talking about. And also... Share us with people who love MCU or anime or both and tell them to find us. They can find where they can find us on YouTube. And we're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, Twitter is Apocalypse of Talk One. Facebook is Apocalypse Otaku. And same thing with Instagram. It's Apocalypse Otaku. So, on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow where, when I am going to have your new releases. So, I'll see you tomorrow.